Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm running through the base because we have a tiny emergency over at our iron mine. Um, let's see, let's get into our train. Okay, go, go, go. And fuel, please. Go. Oh no, that doesn't work. Bricks don't work as fuel. Oh dear. And send you off to the bite the iron mine, which is getting eaten by biters over here. Oh geez. A lot of it is already purple. This is not a good sign. Oh no. Uh, this is an area I have not defended from the biters, and I should have apparently because it's getting eaten. All right, let's go and just pick up. Actually, we can leave it there. And let me go and grab our other bar here and place this thing down so we can kill those biters. Come on, biters. Let's go. Wow, that's a bit of a mess. All right, let's go and get these guys here and kind of um you know get get turrets within range of each other so that they can kind of defend each other okay, it's going along here okay put that there sure and here they shouldn't have any reason to come over the top but go ahead and place that there anyway Red tree is in the way. Sorry, red tree. It's your time to go. All right. Also, someone asked me um, about uh, the other design for mining, which basically involves using undergrounds and then kind of uh, gaining one tile on each of the, the rows here. And at the moment, we don't actually need that kind of throughput. And it's very expensive because you have to use undergroundies, which are more expensive. Um, they, let's see, underground belts is 10 iron plates and five transport belts. Um, and I think they go a distance of like three squares when you do that. So it's very, very, very expensive and really not needed. Also, this area also doesn't need to be red belted because we just don't need it. Um, not enough throughput from the miners. Okay, so <laughs> that was a tiny bit scary. Um, one thing that I would like to do, though, is I want... We need to go up to the oil area. Because we're going to have a little bit of a restructuring over there. And while certain things are getting done, I'm going to do other certain things. So let's get out of here. What I want to do here is I want to set this train to go to oil one and then stop there actually it can stop right there i don't mind if it stops right there that's fine because i want to pump all of this oil out of these tanks so let's get this can i just copy this and rotate yes perfect how many tanks do we have here? Two, four, six, eight. So that's already eight here. Nice. All right, let's get remove this and just move this a tiny bit this way. Uh, now, why am I doing this? Because I want to move this entire station. I want to make, we need to add one refinery here uh, because we are short one. And I'm sure people have probably been like, okay, when's KOS going to fix that? It's, uh, yeah, that's often a topic of conversation I notice in the comments, which highly amuses me. Um, anyway, so let's see. These guys can hook on to the refineries there. All right, so what's going to happen is hopefully this pump is going to get all of the crude out of these. You can see that the, um, the tank getting emptied like immediately there. So that's exactly what we want. Now, while that's going on, I don't think we actually have... Uh, robo ports over here so what i want to do is i would like to extend our coverage into this area so that we can make some changes easily if we need to all right so let's take this i want to put it up here let's see we're just gonna uh, just look at the yellow edges of the zone here and we're gonna make them work that away okay i would like let's see make sure we walk within the zone also I think I want to have the entire thing covered in Roboport Glory because as I'm walking along those belts, I always need to get stuff done. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to connect 
these things up and the robots can place them. I think that's fine over there. And then hopefully these are going to get moved along as well. We'll see approximately there. Let's see this one over here. So that ends just before there. We'll just give it an extra square happily. Okay. And get this one there. Whoopsies. I don't know if it's actually covered under that. We'll just make, sh make sure. Anyway. Um, so we'll get the, the bots to place those and, and uh, do stuff and things. So, what I want to do though right now, since we did get the module research, oh, and look at the yellow is building up quite nicely there. Mm. Should we go back to artillery? I'm almost tempted to, but I don't think we can, we have enough yet. Anyway, I do want to build a small module production, uh, in specific for science. Science is the best thing that you can use modules in. And it looks like we have enough red chips and blue chips to do that kind of thing. So this is actually quite great. Um, let's, oh no, blue chips are coming in quite slowly. But the good thing is we don't need that many blue chips. So I want to, let's just build this here. Ah, uh, this rock might be, in, oh, that's just a rock. I don't need to worry about rocks being in the way. Okay, so modules are constructed in kind of a weird little way. We need... Uh, a couple of different stages for them. So these guys have a 15 second crafting time. These are 30 second crafting time. So we need, let's see. And these need how many? Oh, they need four productivity modules. So we need two of these for one of these. So let's just make that happen first. Okay, copy here and then here, and then we'll put another one there, just representative. Okay, you're gonna be this one. All right, now then, what, what do these need? These need five of those, and those are 60 second crafting time. So what I think I'm gonna do here is just do four of these, two of these, and one of the other. I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. So let's see, let's get rid of this. I wanna do one, two, three away. See, these guys need blue chips. And they need productivity modules. So what I can do actually is something a tiny bit different. Let's put these here. And they can be doing something like this. And then these guys get a belt coming in on this side. And this one gets a belt coming in on this side. And I think that's going to work a bit better. Let's go on the corner here of this. Well, no, we can't do that at all, can we? Okay. Let's see, these take 15 seconds. Yeah, this is fine if we do yellow thingy-majingies on these. And let's get ourselves power poles for this. This can be here, I think. Copy. All right, those go there. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Now then, the next one I think might go somewhere like here like a quick and dirty way of doing this whole thing and then this one goes oh no we do need that here for sure so that's going to deliver right there to that spot and i think we might even put a tiny chest here and we'll let it fill up with i don't know one one set and this will go like that yeah i think that's going to work a lot better for us and you can go here and pick up the stuff. You're going to be a level three productivity module and you're going to be placing them in a box. We're going to place this in a passive provider chest. Okay. And then we'll have one. We probably should limit it to less than 50 because I think it's 50 to a stack, but I think that'll be fine. What I should do with this thing though is make a buffer chest. Let's make a buffer chest. Oh, I have some. Okay. This one will request, let's see, level two modules, level two productivity modules. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so sure. Request all of them. Yay. Just in case they get stuck in the system somewhere. And this can be there. Now we don't have a place that's requesting level one modules. So what I'm going to do is just make a chest like in the middle here. And this can just place them like this. This can request the level ones in case... They get lost somewhere 
Uh, there we go. All right. Yay. Life is better, clearly. Now, hopefully this is going to give us a tiny bit of modules to share with our friends and happy families here. No, I don't know. It's just like modules. No, help. Okay, let's go there. Okay, that's for these. And then the second set of modules needs a blue and red. So let's go and get this here. Um, how do we want to do this? See, this needs to be here. Okay, let's take that there. This needs to go like this, probably. Yeah, I think that's probably correct. Oh, no, 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 no. This way, thank you. There we go. Blue and red. All right, so these guys are already working on stuff. Uh, what we can do also is put speed modules in these module makers if we wanted to. Now, note that we really shouldn't go overboard because our production of electricity is kind of at the limits. And so that's why today I would like to set up the uranium processing and get that going. But yeah, this is going to take a little while to fill up on stuff. Um, these guys are going yeah as fast as they can, so we'll just leave them to it. Uh, until ooh, we, we do need what we can get here is some concrete on the floor. That'll be nice to walk. Also, I like it on the first belt there. Oh no, careful. There we go. Is that, is that as high? Oh, it just has that little lip because it's a corner. Okay, it's looking pretty darn good, and hopefully we'll have some modules soon. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see when those get delivered. Um, and then the best place to put modules is in your labs. So we might even um, kind of reduce our research lab um, capacity in favor of just getting those modules in there and getting, what is it, 20% extra production from that. So let's see, what's what's going on here? Oh, this stone. That is not good. We really need to build a stone outpost because our stone is... Yeah, yeah, I think it's completely dead except for this miner who has 279 stone left. That's not good. Um, I think that's going to be this, but I want to get the uranium stuff organized first. So let's go shopping. We need to go shopping a bit in our mall. Now, I do want to get more power poles. Let's get those going. Where are they? Hello, power poles. Here they are. It's hard to see sometimes um, with the numbers covering the icons so severely. Uh, but let's see. We have... This is what we want. We only have 12 of them. All right. Oh, no. I forgot to change this to something like, I don't know, 20. So that's not good. So let's go and pick them up anyway. This is where we have our reactors. Those are being built quite quite happily, quite quickly. Uh, here, start start the process. Just go, do things. Go, go, go. I want to get... How many do we have here? We have... Oh, while this is building more, let's go and get some tank cars. So uranium mining requires sulfuric acid to mine. Otherwise, the miner doesn't do anything. It just kind of sits there. Where are those cars? Let's see. Ah, here they are. Hooray. So let's take two. We will never, we probably don't even need two. We probably just need one car, but I always like to have a little bit more. So that's fine. Let's see. Let's take this and give you three back. That's fine. And we're going to get these guys. Nice. One centrifuge. We have 15. Can we get another one? Yes, we can. Boom. We'll have 16 for now. Um, I kind of like to start off with like 20 or something like that, but it'll be okay. Wow. What's going on with the power poles here? Why is this so slow? Okay, let's get these 50 to 100. That's 145. That's nice. Let's make 150 in here instead. All right. Are we good with everything else? I think so. We have enough stuff. So... Hopefully, our situation over here has improved a little bit. Ah, oh, nice. All of these roboports are connected. That's perfect. Now, we do want to get the sulfuric acid coming down here. So let's go ahead and get a pipe for that. See how far down do we want? Actually, we can do this via map mode. It's quite a bit easier. 
If we just grab one of these sets and just kind of go down. I think let's go beneath this thing. Okay. And then our bots can do this for us, actually. Nice. Okay. But we can just connect it up here. Nice. This is excellent. Okay, the next one is going to need to go somewhere. I don't know. Here is okay, I guess. Sure. Now then, are these tanks empty? I think they are. And if we remove them... Oh, actually, let's not do that. Let's go that way instead. What I want to do is I want to copy this station. We're going to move the whole thing down. So let's grab uh, the X and just get the whole station and move it. And this has got to go too, but I don't want to pick that up with my bots. Nope. And this whole thing's got to go to... Oh no, inventory full. No, no, no. Okay, the bots should come and get it from me. Uh, we can put another rope port over there. There we go. Alright, so this is fine right now. And uh, we don't have... We actually don't have an, any oil in there anymore, so we can... We can remove this. Any tank that is connected to another tank will actually push its contents upward into the other tanks. So we're going to leave this. Wow. Okay. So that's pretty much done. We have no oil coming in at all right now. Let's see. Are these bots coming for me? Yes, they are. So they're going to take stuff from me, which is going to free up my inventory quite a bit. I'm going to uh, take out uh, these turrets because I don't need 300 of them. Let's do 150 for building stuff and then the same with the power poles I'm going to reduce those as well to a hundred there we go and so those will go into my trash slots let's see this area we can get going so what we want to do here is we want to get rid of this curve which is kind of horrible mostly horrible um, and then change this to be a different kind of a train station so let's see we want the curve to be like this ish i'm going to have it below the water and below this here so this can actually go over here i think if we move the robo port right one thing we need to be careful of is the power i believe the power is only connected this way let's put that there and remove this one here and the robo port and we'll remove these guys and this and that. All the extra little bits and pieces here that we definitely don't need. All right, that's good. So uh, let's get our curve in here and I'll put it like there-ish. And this will give us room for our station. I think that's good. All right, here we go. Station made. Very nice. All right, did we have a signal there? Yes, we do. Excellent. Now then, we need to build another station for, um, yeah, for, for sulfuric acid, but I don't, I only want to have two cars worth. So that's about that many. We'll build it like here, for example. Let's get the curve in here just to make sure it's, everything's aligned nicely. Get our signal on the side. Okay, very nice. And this means we can also get in the um, thing here. Let's see. Yeah, this coal belt can just be deleted, I think, completely from there. And in its place, I think I want to add a belt for the... Um, for the solid fuel to come across instead. And that, I believe, can go... Maybe we'll put it underneath that sulfuric acid over here. Because that seems okay. And then, let's see. We want to do something like... Going... Maybe there. Just give ourselves a tiny bit of room here. Delete that. 
There we go. All right, and that's going to allow us to fuel our trains as well. Nice, nice. Very good. Life is better. Okay, oh, inventory full. No, no. Bad, bad. Oh, dear. All right, now then, what I want to do here is something like this and going back there. Oh, that's perfect. Isn't that nice? Okay, good. And then we'll put our signals so that they can wait at the last possible moment. Go there, and I think we can just delete this whole thing. Just make sure we get all this done. Okay, and then this block ends there. Sure, it's fine. Now then, I do want to add a parking lot here to this. So let's delete some of this as well. And we can go and get this parking lot from over here. Now, how is this going? Is anybody getting killed over here? No, of course not. Where we have our flamethrowers, nothing is getting killed. Mm -hmm. Only over here. Mm. Okay, anyway, let us go and get our parking lot. Do we have this in our book? Might be. Let's see, look. Let's see, real straight. Rails in, rails out. Diagonal rails? No, we don't have this one in there, I don't think. So let's just copy this. Make sure to get that chain signal. Very important. And I think we'll just put it here for now. And then grab this and put it in the book. Call this parking diagonal, I don't know, left. Parking D left. Okay, we'll just say hmm. D. Put in some symbols, help us remember. Yep. These kinds of things always make me very. Oh no, it didn't save. What? No, I hate when it does this. Okay. Parking D left. Okay. Enter. Save. It's because I didn't click the save button. I wish it wouldn't make you do that, but that's okay. Whatever. Uh, okay, we're still in map mode here. We're going to leave space for another station just in case we need it. Uh, we could put this over here. This might actually work okay. Or over here. But I think this would be fine. Let's see, just make sure that we have... Yes. Yes. There we go. That's good. Now then. Um, let's get some power here and connect that to the power poles which apparently are not connecting either there we go nice now we do need to change the names of the stations so this one is base oil now there is a way a really handy way that you can add a nice little oh, i don't know what you call it a a symbol to this thing which i wrote it down and apparently I didn't save it for myself but it is uh, open bracket uh, no 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 not that one alt there we go and it, this one is going to be fluid equals uh, equals equals no oh, equals is where is it on my keyboard there it is fluid equals and I'm going to save this thing copy and oil no, I think it's crude oil. Crude dash oil. And once you type it in, it turns into a symbol magically. So we're going to name this one base um, sulfuric acid. Okay, and then we're going to do this. Fluid equals sulfuric A-C-I-D. Boom. Nice. Okay, and the colors here, we're going to do red, green, which is makes yellow. Okay, and so now we have stuff. Let us go ahead and we need to get our train back. So let's look at our train list here. Wish this, they would change this, this bale of hay thing. It's a bit silly. So go ahead and go to, so if, um, no. Oh, no. For some reason, it uh, it did funny things with this. All right empty cargo inventory we'll go back to base oil oh it's not connected maybe that's why add weight condition we want to do full cargo yeah 
or no empty cargo sorry it's like new no, empty there we go so go now boom okay this is yeah that's why i can't get there because it's not connected yeah just a, just a slight slight problem all right let's connect this up get this these parking spaces built and it's safe to walk because this is not connected to the rest of the rail yard okay and the easiest way i think is just to get a couple of curves here kind of like to have things more compact here we go and here we can just do the shift clicking and do a signal here break it up into blocks okay and here we go oh no too many let's see curve like this there we go nice that allows us to remove a lot of stuff quickly. Jeez, I remember when it took like three years to to um, delete a rail. God, I'm so glad for this. Anyway, uh, we have this going on. There's a signal there. Where's the next one? Let's put one like up here maybe to break up those blocks a bit. And here comes our oil train. And it should have oil in it, I think. So now we can build another train uh, but we're not going to yet. I like to build the trains when we actually have stuff in there. So, or both stations. It's a better way to put it. Oh no, come on. There we go. All right, let's get this here. And find out also where our solid fuel has gone wrong. Because, ah, we have to go over there and connect it. That's why. Let's go over there. Get everything sorted. Okay, bots are following me. We probably don't need that many defender capsules either. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's take like a hundred with us instead. Just have some. So, so some of our stuff is going to go away now happily. Okay, we need a an undergroundy here. And undergroundy there. And then undergroundy... This is going to be a two space one. Now, we do want to prioritize our steam engines. So, those are going to go to the right. There we go, like this. All right, I'm going to wait for a few of the bots to come and collect stuff from me because I don't want to be this overloaded when I go out to, <laughs> to the world and, and clear stuff. Of course, we could drop a storage chest and just dump all that stuff in there. That's another option. I'm considering doing that because this is going to take a while. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just put in... Let's see. I wish there was a way to dump stuff directly from your trash into storage. That would be so nice. Okay, stone this stuff. Sure. There we go. Stone. Wood. I guess that's okay. Let's turn them back on. I forgot what I missed. Anyway, that should work out. I think we have plenty of supplies to to proceed. Um, of course, this is our fuel belt for the trains. So let's set that up to have it probably go down here. And we can use that same pattern that we did in the other part of the base for this. Okay, uh, oopsies. Sorry, I was looking to the side slightly. Okay, so that's here. And I'm just gonna copy this section there. Again, shift click, remove rails, come back up here and just do this whole thing right there. Nice. Okay, boom, done. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this train down here and then just like have it go down to this area. So what we wanna do here, we have this big uranium patch. We've got some nice trees over here and that's gonna prevent pollution a little bit. Uh, well, I think they're a tiny bit overwhelmed, but it's fine. So I think I'll do the station right over here and then just put production up here. I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and go to that area there. And I think want to redo a little bit of this, perhaps. We'll see. We shall see what goes on there. But I want to just get down there and start building this outpost so that we can start collecting that uranium-235 so that uh, eventually we'll get the Covarex process. Okay, let's get out of the train here and let it go on its way. Uh, I do want to check on the science real quick. Okay, we have a lot of yellow science right now. 
So I want to go into the tech tree and take off the Covarex and put that artillery back on. And then we'll add the Covarex afterward. There we go. So that works like that. Perfect. Now then, aha, we have a thing. So first of all, we don't know much about this situation. Let's just take power over there with us. Oh, I love the way the uranium glows at night. It's very cool. Nice. Look at this. Oh, I thought it used to be more like more glowy. Like kind of pulsating. Doesn't seem to be pulsating anymore. Oh, no. Sort of, maybe. Yeah, it does. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the pulsating effect. Ah, oh, funky. I think the uh, Afraid of the Dark ruins it a little bit around my character, but you can see it when it where it's much darker. So, okay, we have a place. We've got the things and the stuffs. I want to get a station made, first of all. And we can just go ahead and copy this station wholesale, which I like to do. I love just reusing my blueprints to do other stuff with. It's a lot of fun. This train station isn't going to be very large and we don't even need a parking lot because we're not going to have a lot of traffic in and out. So let's just go ahead and put this down. We don't need fueling here. That's one thing we definitely don't need. We're probably going to need one more station and that is going to be for the, um, what do you call it? It is going to be for a belted station because the belts we need are going to be for nuclear fuel delivery. So what I'm thinking is generally with this, I like to do the production on site because it's very handy. There's plenty of space here. So that's what I'm going to do with this. All right, let's take these pumps off, not needed. And this is going to be called, this one's going to be called nuclear fuel. Actually, uranium one, uh, let's see, nuclear fuel. And I forget what the item is called. We have to look that up. But in general, if you look at the item in the production thingy, it's the item name. Oh, here we go. Uranium fuel cell. Okay, let's see if that works if we put it in. Uranium fuel cell. Okay. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't know if it will work. But these have a different prefix. It is going to be item instead of fluid. Let's see. Uranium dash fuel. And you, you make all the spaces to be... Oh, there it goes. Uh, spaces become the dashes. So that's good. So this is going to be uranium... Uh, so, oh, I shouldn't have deleted the thing. No! Uranium one sulfuric acid. We'll do fluid, sulfuric acid. Okay, good. Um, and some of these, I I was looking on the wiki the other day, like a week ago, trying to see if I wanted to show these symbols off. And some of the things don't match up. And I couldn't find any uh, sort of, not not guide for it, but a um, any table or reference thing that would show you what they are. Okay, I think with this, I don't think we need to go rails in because there's nothing going to come from the other side. So let's just do our nice little curve here. Boom. And we'll do our signals after the curve to, you know, if train pulls off. Let's, let's just be done with this. And I guess we can do a regular signal here or maybe a chain signal here. It doesn't really matter because it's not a parking lot, but let's just do a regular signal because it's not going to choose one or the other because there are two different stations. All right. Uh, it's not like a parking lot where they're identical places. Now down here, we need to place these guys down there. Okay. Good, good. And take this that way. All right. Signals. I want again, as they're going out, All right, and another signal just to create more blocks. Now here is where we need to get this line back. So we'll go over here and 
we don't want it waiting too long. Here we'll have signal there and there. So we can wait. Okay, and then this one can go something like this. Now then, um, again, when we're doing a crossing, this is a cross cross. We do chain signal before, and then this one's going to come around this way. So chain signal. And then after, we're going to do a regular signal. Um, and this one, I'm not concerned about the main line filling up, so we don't have to worry about looking ahead too far. Uh, this one... We definitely don't want this one to have another signal on this side, unless it's a chain signal. So you should just leave that alone. And this is going to say, okay, is there a train waiting there? Um, if so, then I'm just going to wait at the chain signal and not block this intersection. Okay, good, good. Now we can go and set up the uranium mine. We can actually set up the sulfuric acid right now so that we can start this uh, pronto. So there we go. Where is our couple of tank cars? There we go. Now, these have all been reversed. Uh, so they go into the tank. Now, train. We're going to get your color. Copy and paste that. Add station. Uranium 1 sulfuric acid. So this one is going to empty the cargo here. And then the base sulfuric acid. This is where we're going to add cargo so somebody's told me that this has been fixed the the fluid full cargo so we're going to try that and see if that works let's go ahead and put some fuel in which i kind of forgot there we go i'm just going to put half a stack so that i can get back on my train um, and we're going to delete a few of these trees and rocks here and that should be good all right so go back to our blueprint library and get our miners blueprint we want these to point up I'm not actually concerned about the side. I don't really care about side stuff here. And these don't have to be super close together or anything. And let's just do, I don't know, that many rows? Sure. Why not? Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, very good. And they're going along very nicely. Okay. So one thing that uh, you need, of course, for the miners is the sulfuric acid. Let's go ahead and grab these power poles and get these guys sorted out. Oh, there we go. And they are ready, but they have no sulfuric acid. So we're just waiting for those. Did we? Did I mess that one up? Yes, I did. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Okay. I thought, hmm, hmm. Okay, so we're going to just delete these and put them in properly with bots. So hopefully they will fix this and we'll get our train coming in. I thought there was something wrong. It's these that I didn't reverse, so my bad. But anyway, these guys, as you can see on the miner, um, they have these little in-out slots. And what that means is that the sulfuric acid can travel through the mining rig. So it will take it in as well as um, put it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the pipes here uh, on this side because it might be a bit dangerous on the other side. Oh, what's going on here? No, they eat, ate my radar. Oh no, it's not good. Sad times. Oh, speaking of radars, we should probably put one down here as well. Uh, and also we should put down our let's find this thing this blueprint we can go ahead and put this down because we're gonna need a bit of danger uh protection whatever danger protectiony stuff stuff things yes all those things it's good stuff good things all right anyway let's go here this one can go here but we don't need to connect to this one because this can connect here. But I'm going to put this connector in the middle of the field because the middle of the field is going to run out last. Uh, and the edges tend to run out sooner than the ends. So let's just make sure that we have these going. Yes. 
And this belt needs to be completed. Good, good. I'll just go around here and also get make sure that the these guys are sorted. I really love doing stuff from map mode like that. Almost disaster of sulfuric acid. We don't have to walk back to the world. We can just get it done this way. Okay, so here I would like to, ugh, need to remove this nature over here. There's way too much nature right there. Um, and get this going there maybe. And connect that that way to here. Okay, and then there. Because those are connected via the middle. Okay, good. Now then, we need to connect the belts up together. And this is going to be pretty simple. They don't need to have any kind of fancy splitting or anything like this. We just need to connect them together. Because the amount of uranium here is massive. We just have a ton of it. Go here and there. That's good. Good, 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 good. Nice. I like to have the trees around. They do look quite pretty. All right. And here is where we're going to get that sorted. Did we get any uranium or sul sulfuric acid yet? Why not? Why not? Give it to us, please. Why? This is connected. Yes. Oh, it is. Okay, it just, there isn't enough in there. That's interesting. Why isn't there enough sulfuric acid? Is, oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, another error made, but we can fix it from afar. Hooray. Yeah, apparently somebody, and I have no idea who that might be, forgot to connect the, uh, yeah, the crude oil to the refineries. Actually, while we're there, we can go here and add an extra uh, refinery. Let's go ahead and add one right there. Yay. Okay, we don't need that. All right, but that will give us an extra refinery here. We can get rid of this pipe. But yes, yeah, soon we shall have stuff. We can have this actually leave for Uranium-1 where we are. So this can start going. Now then, what I like to do here is the uranium is going to come up this belt here and we will find our little centrifuges. So we'll make, let's see, two at a time. And these guys are going to have the uranium processing recipe. So we have a 0.7% chance of uranium-235. That doesn't seem like a lot, but Factorio is a game where you make masses of things. So it ends up being pretty okay. Okay, so let's copy this whole thing over like this. Make this a little bit more symmetrical, even though symmetricalness is completely unneeded. I'm going to go ahead and put the belts on the entire length of these guys and just copy it over. So let's make 10 on each side too for six. 8, 10, because I know we don't have that many, but I want that many. Does that work? Why is that belt longer? Um, must be just a mistake in copying this over. It's okay, though. All right, cool. So we have the sulfuric acid. Everything is great. Now, the results are going to come out on this belt here. And that's what we need to filter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have the output priority on the left, on this side. Perfect. And the filter is going to be the uranium-235, the precious glowy one. So that's going to come out here. And this one, the other one, is going to go on the other side. So this is basically a belt to put stuff on one side of the belt, a certain product on a specific side of the belt. So let's let that get going. Now what I want to do here is we want an output, one, two, three, just in case we want beacons for this. Um, this is going to be an output belt. And then we're going to have chests and then there's going to be a belt here as well. So these are going to be filter inserters. Okay, 
and we need some chests here. What I'm going to do, we'll do some passive provider chests. Uh, let's see, how far does a, this is coverage, yeah, there we go, there's substation, and let's see, one, two, three more or so. So let's make that many. This is going to be our 238 on this side, and then 235 on this side. And these are going to go into these chests here and output onto a belt over there. Okay, we'll leave this at that for now. So let's just copy this whole thing and do that. Maybe another, yeah, several rows. We're going to have several rows. And then here, oopsies, these guys are not covered. Let's just take that off. All right, and we're going to cover the whole thing with a RoboPort just so it stops blinking. Now, we're not going to have any bots in this right now because right now we don't need them um and we don't want all this junk to get in here if we had any storage chests either so all right let's connect this up and let the process keep flowing do we see any 235 yet not yet but soon uh and this is going to quickly dissipate here oh there's one there's a 235 hooray now then we just need to make sure that we have our blueprint oopsies let's get our blueprint for damage prevention here there we go go here here and here these are fairly expensive machines we don't want to delete them okay so we just have one that's coming out on the end of the belt and so we're going to leave this for a while until we actually get enough to start a process of making nuclear fuel but I am very happy about stuff let's see what's going on with this though somehow we're not getting connection hello why maybe maybe there's just no sulfuric acid maybe yeah I think it's probably not enough but I think they're connected geez I don't even know now does it tell us? No. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we'll come back and solve that if it's a problem that needs solving. But for now, I'm quite happy with how things are going. Um, let's see, this is working. Are these guys working again? Yes, we have plastic again. Hooray! And um, hopefully we'll get some solid fuel as well. We might even need to increase that belt. It looks like we might... Are we? Did we have a disaster with this? No. We did have a lot of use of coal, though. Look at that. That coal's coming on. Interesting. All right. So, yeah, that was almost a disaster because we have... We let that go for so long. But now we have plenty of uh, oil and we don't need to worry about it. So, anyway, uh, thank you so very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.